Hello everyone! In today's video I want to share with you three reasons to not start a blog. There are so many get-rich-quick style posts on the internet today about how to get a blog online in just a few minutes. We all know that isn't the case. A tremendous amount of work goes into designing and creating a blog. Along with the many technical struggles you might experience, it can all add up to the feeling that perhaps blogging isn't for you. Here are a few reasons blogging might not be for you at present. You want blogging success fast. Blogging is not a get-rich-quick kind of business. It takes a long time, months, even years, to build a loyal audience. When you have an audience, you then need to monetize that audience so that you can sustain the business financially. This all takes time too. If you need money absolutely now, then don't commit to full-time blogging. The last thing you want is to feel under pressure to earn an income. The sense of urgency could be counterproductive to any success you might have. Many people start blogs on the side while doing a full-time job. That could work for you if you have the time, you're motivated and you're prepared to sacrifice other things in your life. Building a blog takes longer part-time but it could be a less stressful option. You hate social media. Being present on one or two social media platforms is an absolute necessity for getting traffic early on because Google won't register you even exist for at least six months or more into your blogging journey. If you detest social media, then blogging isn't for you. You must be prepared to embrace at least one social media platform. It takes a lot of work and experimentation to get the right stage. Pick one and don't give up. Also, if you don't have the time, don't start a blog. Blogging and the task around it, it takes a lot of time. Let's break down how long it takes to write a post. Write the post depends on the topic three to five hours. Make the graphics, featured image, Facebook sharing image and Pinterest pin an hour. Marketing, sharing or Pinterest, Facebook and Twitter another few hours. We all need to factor in the time it takes to decide to what subject to post about. For that, you will need to spend some time doing keyword research. Additional tasks depend on your niche. If you're a food craft blogger, for example, then you would need to allow time for the practical task of cooking, creating, and then taking photos. I know a lot of bloggers have time, save time by batching tasks. If you're going to do that, then you need to be a good planner as well. And I will leave you with this. One of the exciting things about the formula for success a few simple disciplines practiced every day is that the results are almost immediate. As we voluntarily change daily errors into daily disciplines, we experience positive results in a very short period of time. When we change our diet, our health improves noticeably in just a few weeks. When we start exercising, we feel a new vitality almost immediately. When we begin reading, we experience a growing awareness and a new level of self confidence. Whenever a new discipline we begin to practice daily will produce exciting results that will drive us to become even better at developing new disciplines. The real magic of new disciplines is that they will cause us to amend our thinking. If we were to start today to read the books, keep a journal, attend the classes, listen more and observe more, then today would be the first day of a new life leading to a better future. If we were to start today to try harder and we were every way make a conscious and consistent effort to change subtle and deadly errors into constructive and rewarding disciplines, we would never again settle for a life of existence, not once we have tested the fruits of a life of sustenance. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you liked it. Have an amazing day and I'll talk with you soon. Bye for now.